It was a test. You passed. If you would have defended LeBron, I might have had a different game plan. Hey, what's going on, Beard Brand fam? Bob the Barber here in uh, Beard Shop headquarters. I got my buddy, Coach T, all the way from San Marcos, coming in for a quick trim. So, uh, coaching uh, Texas State basketball, the ladies team. Yep, so some women's basketball coach. Hell so. yeah, what's, uh, what's your season like looking, uh, with everything going on, what is that, what's, what's, what are you guys doing? We're doing with the uncertainty, we're practicing right now, so that's the, the fun part is actually being out on the floor because there was a time where we couldn't get out there. Even so do that, Shit, It's man. something where we're, now we're practicing, so it's exciting and getting ready for our first game. How long, how long did you say it's been since you've been in the, uh, a barber's chair? It's been about 20 years since I've been in a barber chair. Six months, been letting it grow out, haven't, haven't touched it. So it's, I think it's time, it's getting a little, little shaggy. And um, it's my first time actually growing a beard ever. So really? just kinda, I'm gonna take, take your expertise and whatever you like to do with it. Yeah, being that it's man, it's such a good beard already, we're gonna, we're gonna tidy it up quite a bit without taking away the overall like length and, and size of it. Um, yeah. We'll definitely clean up your your cheeks and your your sideburns. Um, I see that your mustache is a uh, is pretty pretty long as well. Um, how 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 are you stylistically like liking the like in the mustache? Well, like during the day, I just you know I comb it into the beard, and then there's sometimes if I'm working from home or if on the weekend, I'll try to do a little handlebar Heck with yeah. it. Not not the strong handlebar, but just kind of more of an outward one. Yeah, there. well, I'll, I'll definitely take that into consideration to make sure that uh, I leave enough meat on the edges. We'll we'll bring this up just ever so slightly. Same thing, just to just so you can so you can eat soup now that it's gonna be cooling off yeah. here in Texas soon. Um, and then uh, yeah, we'll. Uh, do you, you maintain any superpowers in the eyebrows at all? Oh, just try to trim every once in a while. My wife usually does it when it gets a little wild, so. Yeah, we're at that point, so we, 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 we'll get them dialed in. Um, but yeah, let's, let's dig in. Get a nice heap, heap in the uh, helping of some beard. Mm. Um, and we're just gonna put a preliminary amount in there. Like I said, I wanna get it a little stretched out, a little relaxed. This feels really good, by the way. And uh, one of the things I look for when I'm seeing a, a beard for the first time is where, uh, if there's any gaps underneath by the, by the throat. So I'm just gonna run some heat through it, like I said, to relax some of the hair. Good beard, man. If I had to, if I had to put a player to this beard, I'd say it's like a, a third-rate player, like like LeBron. Okay. Yeah, it's like a LeBron-level beard, just good enough, but not like Jordan level. No, I'm a, I'm a Jordan guy. So yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm, <laughs> it I'm was good. a test. I, I love I love LeBron, but it's one of those things. I grew up in the MJ era, so you got to go with MJ. It was a test. You passed. If you would have defended LeBron, I might have had a different game plan. What'd you think about his performance in the, the finals this year? It was great. It was very good, so. I gotta give it to the guy, man. The guy's, he's up there, man. Do you guys put him in the same, at the same, can there be two goats? Oh, it can be real close. They're gonna be, we call it the Mount Rushmore. So it's one of those things, like they can put four yeah, people, you get four people yes, in there or something like yes. that, so. I, uh, I've been having that conversation a lot and it seems like at this point, with that much hardware, with those statistics, like you gotta give the guy a spot at Mount Rushmore. I hadn't thought about it that way, but that's perfect. Yeah, and a lot of our players, you know, some of them are not even, you know, they're so young they haven't even seen Jordan play in real life. So, yeah, then I think with the shaping of it and the neckline, I kind of let it grow too, grow too much, and it, then I was kind of scared to do anything to it. I don't want to <laughs> take a big chunk out. That can happen. Yes. Touch these real quick. Yeah, that's these are these are magnificent, by the way. So they're they're probably staring at you. That's why you probably need to take care of them. They sometimes. Yeah, they were they were calling to me. Uh, assistant is I work with our forwards, and then uh, 
it's basically just kind of you know, what it says. It says take coach and everything. So help them with the defense, motivate them sometimes, pump them up sometimes. So our, our group's really fun to work with. So they sometimes they motivate you. So that's a good thing. staff are fun people to work with. Have you been in this world for a while as, as a, at a coaching capacity or? Yeah, I've been doing it for about 21 years. Oh, so Jesus. That's where the gray hair comes in. So I joke around with some of my former players and say, this gray hair is named after you. So. <laughs> I'm sure they, they actually enjoy the, that fact. <laughs> oh, yeah. They don't agree when they're playing for you, but afterwards, then they agree with you. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds about right. So your cheeks have a pretty defined hairline where it starts to get dense again. Yeah. And uh, so I'm taking this the trimmer straight down to those areas where that density starts and not worrying about too much of those, those little guys up above them. And the same thing with your, your sideburns. It starts to get a little sparse up here, so tapering them out. So I've already established where this density is, where some of this taper out from the sideburn is. If I were to do my own beard, I'm gonna put the, the clipper flat to my face and then just use the heel, the back part, just to, to slide off my cheek. As okay. opposed to like getting really aggressive with the teeth. Yep. That's, when, that's when you can make some, some pretty costly mistakes. So if I'm just tapering this out ever so slightly, just literally using the, the back of the clipper just to literally slide over it. And as you get closer to a desirable length, then you can start fine tuning with those teeth a little bit. Okay. But on those first passes, if things are just buck wild, just flat up against the face and, and just drag it out. Okay. And then following, essentially the plane of the face is this. You never want to follow the shape of the face, but just this, the area up here, um, and it'll help take away some of those stragglers, especially right now that these so many masks have been damaging beards in this little section right here. Mm -hmm. um, they're gonna sprout no matter what. I doubt that anyone's gonna have a formula to, to keep those from you know, completely protected, unless you're wearing masks that are like just flat to your face. Yeah. But um, because those are gonna be damaged and broken and sticking out, just just chop it up. Oh well, we're gonna have to learn to, to exist with this new new style. So here we go again with that mustache. I'm looking at it for aligning it with this guy. Yeah, comb it out. I'm gonna look at that short stuff. And then I'm gonna angle my fingers out way, way past where they were originally sitting and then those guys off. And my fingers are essentially following the shape of your lip. Okay. So if you ever want to just like put some shears in there yourself instead of just putting them in there straight across, like get them open, slide that bottom that bottom guy in there, prop them up and then angle them to where you're just barely snipping off those edges. And then as you start to expose a little bit more hair, then you can start working it in. Yeah. Yeah. But initially, yeah, just get them under there, pop them out. Y'all getting ready to get out there, compete. I feel like it's such an important part of uh, like the community and the players and just everybody involved. Yeah, like the 
players especially. It's just they don't they didn't do well with the stay at home quarantine or they're active, they wanna get out. And the plane's a fun part, so What do you guys, uh, how are you guys slated to do this season? Well, we've got a lot of returners, so it's one of those things where it's, we're, we're excited, so. Well, that's like everyone at the beginning of the year, everyone's excited, so. It's just whatever team kind of works the hardest, and, you know, it's one of those things, too. Every year is different with injuries and people healthy and those kind of things, so. Knock on wood, you know, everyone stays healthy and plays hard, we should be all right. And then the... The crazy thing, you know, I always think of beard products for a beard, but when I had a goatee, I probably should have been using, using some beard oil, and I didn't use that kind of stuff for my, for my goatee, so. You know, that's a really good point. I, I try to get newer beard growers to, uh, even, even the experience, experienced ones, you don't start putting in product when you have a beard. <laughs> you you got to start putting in, you know, when you decide to start growing a beard. This hair is going to be on your face for the longest. It's exposed yeah. to the most stuff. Like all this the stuff that we're chopping off has been on your face since day one. So it's, it's important to give that the, the love and nourishment yeah, it needs. So when I started looking back, I'm like, man, I should have done this when I had my goatee because like my skin would get really sensitive and I would just either cut it really short and almost shave it off and just let it grow back. Now that we've straightened it out one one more time, I'm just looking for those guys that are the last bits of straggler. I lost the bet and then I kept it, so. <laughs> One of those things after they shaved my head, they looked, they go, you know, it doesn't look that bad. And I go, I kind of agree with you guys, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> But I was ready to say, one of these days I'll come in and get a straight, straight edge to it. It's nice just to have somebody else take good care of you. The hot towels, the lathers, the, the lotions, the love. So I'm going to throw a little bit of extra beard balm in there just for, just for, uh, for extra protection. And then I'm going to throw a little bit of styling balm and the mustache just to accentuate it okay. while we're here. So we already used like a good dime size amount. I'm going to go same thing, just a small thumbnail. My thumbnails are tiny, so this is a just a extra coating. <laughs> now we try to focus on some of this like inner beard underneath. Uh, make sure that skin gets some nourishment because the top of the beard always gets lots of love. So. comb can tend to, uh, especially if it's not, not a high quality comb, will yank on the hair and cut through it yeah. a lot of the time. So no, I made that mistake early. So I had one of those plastic things and I, I did get me a Beard's Brain comb. So. Yeah. God. If any of y'all have like the old, old versions of Beard Brain combs, I'll buy them from you. I want to collect them all. I'm a bit of a hoarder. Sorry, babe. <laughs> but yeah, I need them. 
Yeah, I said I got, I got, just got the one, and uh, but I tell you what, when I'm driving and stuck in traffic, sometimes yeah. it's nice to, <laughs> nice to come through the beard. Those are the best times, yeah. And it's relaxing, so it doesn't give me road rage. In the last handful of years, with channels like Beard Brand and um, all the Instagram popularity and TikTok stuff, uh, yeah. there's there's a lot of celebrity cutters. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a it's the long days. It's the, it's a physical job. You have to be be behind the chair. Yeah. It's um, it, it's an effort. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.